Uh, hello everyone. So in this video, I'll be building employee management application uh, for the front end. I have used react JS for the back end. Uh, it's fast API. Uh, yeah, so I'll just go through the demo how it works. So I have to enter the employee ID something like 29. So I have to enter the name of the employee and enter Arun. So I have to enter the age. It's like AR25. Uh, I can choose any of the position. Uh, let me choose uh, this one and experience I can just give me like three years of experience so if I submit the new data will be added here so I can uh, read I can delete it so if I enter uh, delete so that is gone so that will be deleted so yeah this was the simple application which we'll be building uh, using uh, fast API and react so let me uh, show you how the uh, how the backend is built so this is the fast api uh, docs which uh, we'll be building we'll be using we'll be having uh, four uh, url things so two get request one post and one delete so we are using this four in our application so if i hit if i hit all we'll get all the details available so i'll if i hit try out so if i execute I'll get all the available data similarly we have uh, we can get even by id we can post like we can create new employee uh, we can delete the employee by id so we have these uh, requests so this is the schema so we'll be we'll see more about in the code again i have just a id name age uh, designation and experience so this is the schema for database so so yeah this was about the demo so let me just go through the code yeah first we'll see the backend uh, code similarly i can show how api and code goes together yeah uh, yeah first we have imported fast api obviously we need to install fast api then we uh, for this pydantic we'll be importing base model so base model is required for the creating of the schema then i'll be including list so yeah in in this uh, uh, project i have just implemented the backend using a list so i'll be adding even the database soon i'll be adding database as well as i'll be dockerizing it so again i'll post a video when i do that so yeah i'll assign app to my fast api and i'll create the schema of class it's same as this schema here if you can see employee id name age same thing i have uh, declared here then I'll create my fake database. So it's not actually a database, it's just a list. So when I uh, connect my uh, project with the database, again, I'll make a video on it of type employee. So this is the list of type employees. Uh, for the initial purpose, I'll add some dummy data here of same IDA, name, age, designation, and experience. Then, yeah, then comes the main part. So I have four uh, requests. So one is my get request you can see here so it's all it will not take any arguments it will just return my database everything the whole database it will return as we saw the when we hit the all uh, request um, whole database will be released then i have a uh, get request one more get request but it will take an argument id so it will just return me so it will search a uh, the id if it is present then only it will return the whole uh, uh, thing the whole employee or else it will just return me a null null in the sense empty list <laughs> then i have one post request so uh, like if i want to create a new employee i'll create using this post request again it will take the employee uh, again it will check if the same id is not present if that is not present then it's okay uh, I'll just append uh, the new employee uh, object to my uh, list or else I'll return that it's already exist then delete again it will take the ID if it is if the ID is present uh, in my database I'll uh, just remove it from the database or else I'll not do anything that's all then uh, yeah then that was about the back end the fast API thing then we'll see how the front end is built I just have three here three components one is my employee one more is this form and the, at the end i have uh, uh, this employee card okay so let me just go through the front end yeah 
yeah this is the app component i have this three here three things one is the h1 tag that is employee management application one is the form post and uh, yeah form post in the sense this this is the form post no, employee cards this i just have three components let yeah first we'll go through what exactly is this form post form post is this one itself so this the whole form is the form post uh yeah it's just a normal uh react form uh yeah it just consists of a label input label input label input like uh, this is the label and this is the input label again input label again input only thing it differs from the normal html is uh, i have added the functionality so i have used a uh, use state so use state again it's initially an object so if i change anything if my on change if i changed any value the new so i suppose if i change uh, the id my id will be updated to the new value initially it was zero it will be updated rest all the elements will be same as it is so i have used this uh, spread operator so again this uh, uh, make sure the rest will not be changed only the targeted element will be changed same thing i have did for all even you can optimize it by using some other uh, state the use ever and all if you can you can optimize it then yeah the main thing is if i hit this submit button this submit button uh this function will be called so this function will be called and this is same function at uh, the post function so here you saw right uh, post uh, i'll be creating a new employee if i hit that so if i hit the submit button all this will be featured here so new employee will be created so again it will take uh, i'll see what exact so post it will take an employee of the schema employee so uh, yeah it will take see if i click here it will show the property everything so it will take all name age designation so you can see here the const uh, the schema uh, const employee so it will take an employee object it will make the post request in the backend this function will catch that and i will append that to my database once i append that to database it will be visible here in the employee card so that that's all uh yeah that's all about this uh, form next we'll see uh, this one employee card again this is just a card of dev i'll be i have passed the uh, employee as a prop so uh, i'll just map through this employee array of uh, i'll be having a employee of id employee name employee age employee designation employee experience and i'll be adding a button to delete it so yeah i have i have passed this here i have passed the uh, employee uh, yeah, i have used use effect so whenever the employee uh, array changes this use effect will be called so what it will do is it will just uh, it will it will call this function uh, app get get items it will just return all the elements in my database that's all i'll again i'll be using axios for the uh, communicating with my backend uh, initially my employee was a uh, empty array once i call this i'll set that to the again it will return the promise so again result of data so again result is an object uh, it will uh, consist of multiple uh, things so in the data is what i want data is an array i'll of an object type employee so that i'll set to my employee again this will uh, this use effect will run only when my employee object will change again i have this handle click so again this is used for to delete the item suppose if i click this delete this handle click function will be called again i use axios to delete i'll pass the id so each and every card is having a separate id i'll pass that id again it uh, gives an uh, promise uh, so i will catch if i got any error or else it will be deleted in my database again i've used uh, employee right so again 
if I delete, it will change. My employee array will be changed. Again, this use effect will be called. So this use effect will be called whenever my employee array will be changed in the database. So yeah, that's all about the project. I have used the uh, like mainly I have used React for my front end and the fast API, nothing else. So soon I'll be integrating this with a database as well as I'll be dockerizing it. Again, I'll make the video whenever I do that. Thank you.